Hi, this is Bob Seitz and Full of Years. It's uh, coming close to the end of this day, uh, twilight as a matter of fact, and as I sit here in a darkening room and at the end of another a year of life, of the calendar life, I'm thinking about family histories and I guess I'm wondering whether you've ever thought about doing that. Most of the time when I talk to people about that, they say, no, not really. And then when I ask them why not, they say, well, I can't write. I understand that, and uh, as, as one who values family history, uh, and you've seen this in my blogs, um, that sort of makes me sad. So in today's uh, blog, today's entry, I try to encourage you with a few hints, a few suggestions, a few gentle nudges to consider writing a history of your family. Maybe not your entire family. That can get a little, a little difficult, a little hard to organize. But history perhaps of one person. You see my mother behind you in the photo. Um, she wrote one of our family's place in the Sierras. My wife's mother wrote one of her life from the time she was born till the time she came to the United States and uh, started her life over here. In both cases, the histories that were the result of these two women's work um, are lasting tributes to, to their lives and inspiration for their children who knew the stories but also the grandchildren, and most importantly, their grand great-grandchildren, uh, folks who perhaps never met them or for whom they were only legendary. A family history, as you well know, captures what's ordinary and what's special about life. But whatever it does, it locks in place in the testimony of folks about a single person or the testimony of a single person, it locks into place the the witness of, of a life, of a place of one life over a span of time, the value of that life, the leveraging of that life into others. Um, and let's be honest, the way that God works to take one person and to make something of that person for the benefit of the rest of us. I don't know what would take for you to consider uh, writing your family's history, um, but I want to encourage you to do it. You can imagine the values. I've already alluded to them. You can imagine the work, and perhaps that scares you, and that's why I would strongly recommend that if you don't think you have the talents, take some of the funds that you might have set aside for other things and consider hiring a, a writing coach or somebody who can come alongside you as you do the work. The hints that I offer today are not all that special. You can find plenty of help on the internet. But what I hope they offer for you is an understanding that almost anybody can assemble, construct, develop a family history, and that almost everybody has a history that's worth knowing worth passing along in a form that lasts. So if you have even the inkling of doing it, start. Start now. Contact that older adult for whom you have great respect and whose life has meant something to you and start a conversation. Take some notes, see what comes from it. I know that I have been inspired and emboldened and ennobled by the family histories that I've been involved in and the ones that I've read. And having that sense of where I came from helps me understand where I am now and where I'm going. In a word, it helps me to live fully. I hope the same for you. God keep you.